Hi, it's Patricia Coglin, and I am responding to a request by a subscriber who wanted help to understand and then sort of help a patient shift out of um, an intractable sort of wish, uh, desire, fantasy that their parents would change, that um, they would somehow be able to give the patient what they have always longed for, right? The, the love, the approval, the support, or whatever it was they felt they needed and didn't get. Now, this is really just a specific form of externalization. The idea that uh, the patient um, is suffering because of something outside of themselves. So they see both the cause of their difficulties and the solution to that difficulty as existing outside of themselves. So you can imagine that's only going to increase you know, anxiety, depression, helplessness, and so on. So you really need to help the patients see this, that they are, um, again, kind of operating from the outside in. And many therapists also make this mistake, right? They blame parents. They think the patient is the way they are because of something that happened to them. Um, and then, you know, by definition, if something outside of them would only change, then they would change too, right? Well, actually, human beings are not pigeons, right? There's no direct stimulus response. There is a complex organism, right, that responds to the stimulus, right, and makes it mean certain things, deals with feelings about it in particular ways, and that's what gives you the response. So helping the patient um, kind of get back in the driver's seat and be able to see that they're holding on to a fantasy that something outside of themselves could uh, change their inner state really puts them in a passive position where they are at effect and not cause in their life. This is not a powerful way to live. And so um, really looking at also the way this kind of fantasy affects the person. So they keep, in many cases, trying to twist themselves into pretzel shapes in order to extract the desired response from the other person, right? In this case, it was parents, right? It can also be a spouse, a child, really a boss, anybody um, outside of the self. And so um, these are people, again, who uh, not only externalize, but put other people, in a sense, ahead of themselves. And so really being able to keep your focus on the patient, their inner life, you know, this is the way they are from what you've said, right? So what happens when you deny that, right? When you live in the fantasy that if I only did something different, they would be different too, right? This is really has to be addressed um, up front. And so that you are dealing with the reality and then the patient's feelings about that reality. And so they can take, in a sense, their power back and see that the only person that they can change is themselves. And, and that's where the power and empowerment comes from. So I hope that helps. Um, if uh, that didn't address your question, then you know reiterate it. But that's how I understood the question. And I hope this helps. Bye-bye.